Hey folks, this is Jake Davis with an on-the-fly review for you, and uh, tonight I'm talking about The Cursed, which was released, uh, I think, just a little over a week ago. This movie was directed by Academy Award nominee Sean Ellis, who was nominated back in the mid-2000s for a, a short film he made, I believe called Cashback. Uh, lots of people picked up their Oscar wins or Oscar noms in that category. You know, Peter Weller, Sean Astin, Walton Goggins. People you, you, you want to expect. Uh, <coughs> I think Fisher Stevens has an Oscar. Oh, no, that's for uh, documentary filmmaking. Anyhow, this movie stars uh, Boyd Holbrook and uh, uh, Kelly Riley. And I just want to say, you know, Kelly Riley is one of those actresses, like, you know, uh, much like Kate Winslet, it's like, you know, a lot of, a lot of actors, you know, I'll, I'll do a nude scene if it's right for the character, if it's appropriate for the film. Now she, but she's one of those actresses, like, you know, five minutes in this movie, let's show some tit. And God bless her, she's doing the Lord's work. Uh, the whole setup here is that set in France, uh, in a village in France in the early 1880s. Um... After a horrible incident involving uh, some gypsies who all disappeared mysteriously, a large animal starts to terrorize the area, and particularly uh, it's attacking small children. And there's been these dreams and nightmares about a scarecrow. Uh, a pathologist uh, has come to town. Uh, looking to investigate the gypsies that are no longer there, and he slowly uncovers and unravels a mystery that, that we actually know right away in the film what's going on, what happened, who it is. So we almost have like this Columbo effect of watching our hero, uh, you know, d dissect the mystery. Um, this is a werewolf film, and it is uh, a very original. And fresh take on a werewolf movie, uh, not something lame like, oh, werewolves were slaves hundreds and, or thousands of years ago, and now they're at war with the vampires, and everybody's very pretty, does kung fu, and wears leather. That was bad. Uh, this it was really interesting. The werewolf doesn't look like a wolf. Almost, almost looks like a pig. You know, um, it's it's. It's, what's what I'm looking for? It's not like it's solid white, but it's like pigmentless and hairless. But it is the person transforming into this beast that feeds on flesh. You know, silver is important. The curse is important. But the full moon is bullshit. And I just really enjoyed this approach to a werewolf. <laughs> My dad was a very artistic person. Actually, wrote a werewolf story. Um, it was very small. Uh, it of course wasn't published. It was just a short story. It was called Hot Blood. It's about a man who uh, basically in incants this ritual and turns himself into a werewolf. That I guess I think he could he could base he could trigger trigger on command as a way to get back at. Uh, people who wronged him in his youth. Uh, the idea of what if the werewolf was always the evil man, and this was just almost like this this wicked instrument you could utilize. It's just another tool of the devil to uh, to capture disturbed souls. Um, it was interesting. Even as a kid, I thought it was interesting. As a grown man, I still think it's interesting. And uh, this movie uh, reminded me of that. Uh, these kind of themes of these... It's not something that comes out of just happenstance or bad luck. Um, but this particular curse, it's drawn to evil and wickedness. And it wouldn't be here if there wasn't some... If there was not evil and muck. And uh, I really enjoyed this movie. Then there's the photography, the costumes, the score, the dialogue. It didn't have this uh, brilliant a score uh, uh, dialogue as, say, Robert Eggers' The the Witch, which was magnificent uh, script. Um, 
But I really like this. If I, I'm going to give this movie five stars because I just was, I loved it. I loved every minute of it. I was completely compelled and enthralled in the story through the whole film. Uh, and I love my Wolfman. Uh, if I had to pick out, nitpick, if you will, uh, and as, you know, when it comes to further multiple viewings of this movie, this may actually grow on me because this is a kind of a thing for me. Now, our lead is Hoyt Holbrook. I have no problem with Hoyt Holbrook. I thought it was terrific in uh, Gone Girl in his small role. My favorite film from the last decade. But, I'm okay. If I was an actor and I was playing a character from the 19th century, this facial hair be a big part of my performance. It would be an important part of something I would delve into. You go back and you look at photographs of men from that time, fashion from that time, and facial hair was a, a big, important thing, you know. This is where we get these images of twirly mustaches and um, uh, just these big, elaborate beards, you know, that rock stars and pro wrestlers still utilize for that kind of just eye-grabbing image to this day. Uh... If I was playing a character in a period like that, I would, yes. It's it, it just, I thought he missed, a, he missed an opportunity to do something unique with a character. I thought he did a fine job with his accent. The, the, the film's in English, takes place in France, and everybody just does generic English accent. The guy's from Kentucky, so he just did a, a safe English accent. You know, nothing wrong with it. I thought he did a fine job. But the fact that he basically just had modern day... Handsome, handsome stubble uh, for facial hair. Thought it was a missed opportunity. And uh, I don't know, slightly made his character boring. Um, v visually, I mean, I, I guess it's a weird thing to me. I think you, I thought it was a missed opportunity. I genuinely think a standout, bizarre facial hair thing or even haircut would have made his character and his performance more stand out. I really do. Anyhow, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I am going to give the movie four and a half stars. I very much enjoyed this movie. I thought it was very intense, very well made with a very smart take on the werewolf mythos. Uh, and I definitely recommend it. Highly recommend it. And if you start having nightmares about, um, uh, scarecrows and silver fangs, We'll just know you're already fucked. <laughs> I'm Jake Davis, and I'll catch you on the fly.